Hi, this is Coach Thomas for the Monday Morning Meeting. All right, money. Decrease your expenses, superfluous expenses that don't make you money. Increase your revenue. There's a bunch of ways you can increase your revenue. You go after new students. Do all new students have to be a home run? Do you have to hit the sweet spot of the bat? No. You can bring a lot of students in at uh, lower than regular rates on special programs and uh, trial programs, and you're going to get your money as long as you give the service. Uh, there'll be exceptions of people who can actually not pay, and that, those, are, uh, those obstacles are overcome by having creative programming. Uh, you saw our post recently, one day a week, $60 a month is uh, $15 an hour, whereas $180 a month, four times a week, only came out to be $11 an hour. So with some creative scheduling and program development, you can overcome uh, people's inability to pay full price because you're still getting your money and you're working them in because the only reason they don't cut out the things that are uh, their superfluous spending is because they don't understand the value of what you do yet. You have to prove that you have value and they'll come up with 50 cents a dollar more a day. Trust me, if all your students are paying full price, you're still not going to be rolling in your bed on cash, you know, every Friday night. It doesn't work like that. The margins are all tight. And we still haven't dealt with uh, retirements and medical care in some cases or staff development or making sure they're taken care of. So there's a lot of work to be done. And it all comes around uh, these two things, acquiring new students and retaining the ones you have, having creative programming, this is the third caveat, right? And then not being a one-trick pony. Uh, I think you can develop some short courses if you really put your thinking cap on. Problem is, is most people don't spend even one uh, term paper's worth of energy on developing special courses. Half-hearted attempts, uh, poorly researched, poorly promoted, those kind of things don't make you money. They just cause you extra labor, and then you go, oh, well, we tried that. Now, that's not how it works. And if you need some money talk, and shoot, if it takes 300 money talks, and you finally get it, it's worth every time we talk. Call me. We'll talk about it. You'll get your head around it. Soon you'll be a pro. Uh, staff development. you got to develop your staff, and I don't mean, you know, given these uh, poorly planned, you know, uh, lectures on uh, Monday mornings, you know, I mean really train them. Uh, like we do in the 100. We go over the material over and over again and we analyze. You know, you got to analyze where your people are at and be candid about what they need. And what's the step number one with staff? Do you remember? Time management. If your staff isn't using a day planner and tracking forward and putting in appointments and figuring out promotions and what's going on next month, it's like trying to run a race with one leg. Marketing and promotion. Now, marketing and promotion is every day, all day long. I mean, do you have your staff Twittering? What's going on in the school? Facebooking? Doing videos? Why not? You could do that. And uh, it isn't cheesy. It's what you do. It's interesting. And it chronicles the history of your school. It can be fun. And uh, yet, a lot of you will go the next week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, hardly engaging anybody else, not making those videos, not writing great blogs, because you just don't know how valuable it is to your marketing. When you figure it out, you're going to kick yourself in the head for not getting on it. It's the cheapest miracle that's ever come to martial arts school promotion, and here you're kind of letting it pass you by. Heaven forbid that some young, aggressive, smart person would come into your community and dominate those very things that we've been talking about. Don't let that happen. Now, the 100 is a practice. You come 10 minutes a day, that's 60 hours in a year. You read, you contribute, you think, you call me, you work on it. Whatever's ailing you, whatever's keeping you from reaching that tipping point, we're gonna get there. You just have to have a fantastic attitude. You have to have a lot of perseverance. You have to have a lot of self-discipline and you don't give up because uh, these are, this is not the complicated work. The complicated work is, is having your school, paying your staff, teaching your students, having a home life, and being a responsible, contributing, you know, participative, compassionate human being. Some people get the business down, family falls apart. Some people pay attention to the family at the business expense. You have to be balanced. And so set your expectations higher, know that you can do it, and it's, it breaks down to what you do on, uh, on a daily basis. And so 
That's why it's good to come visit and ring the bell of your awareness every day and make that a habit. Uh, you're going to develop a practice of a lot of things that help you build a successful school. Education, right? Community activism, paying attention to your student count, doing your statistics. All these things are broken down into little daily chunks. All right, I'm Tom Kalos. Uh, you know how to reach me, 530-903-0286. I'm also on Skype at Tom Kalos. Uh, don't let things go bad before you call me. Don't be embarrassed. Just call me. And if things are good, call me too. I'd love to hear from you and what you're up to. My goal is to get you working on some projects that, that light your fire, that light your community's fire, that give you something nobody else in your town has and that solves problems in your community. Uh, we want to have uh, intelligent martial arts schools. We don't want to uh, have cookie cutter, box, franchise, garbage. We want things that reflect your intelligence, your passion, and your interests. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.